Hey guys, welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So today let's see how to export your Cosmos data DB into your local into a JSON format file. And also later on, let's see how to import this uh, import those uh, data back to your Cosmos DB. Suppose if you are in a different subscription Azure subscription and if you want to import those data, let's see how to do that. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get in the video and see exactly that. So if you see here right now, I already have some demo data already available here, which I've already imported. I got this data from their official website. If you go and um, search for Azure, Cos Azure Cosmos TV demo data, you'll find this. I'll uh, get their official website, click on that, click on browse code, click on sample data. So there will be some 1500 rows available in this already. So I've already imported those things. Now let's see how to export this to a JSON file. For that, what we'll need is um, a migration tool. You can search for Azure Data Migration Tool in GitHub. And uh, once this comes up, you can open this GitHub URL. So it will show all the uh, no, repo code over here. And on the right hand side, you'll see releases. Click on this release and uh, you'll get the assets here. Open uh, the zip file. Click on this zip file and it should get downloaded. Once you download and extract it, so I've already extracted the file. So once you extract that, you'll get some these many files already available in this folder. So there will be two uh, files available dt.exe which you can uh, you know use it via cli uh, using your command prompt or uh, there is also a good user interface which they have provided as well you can double click and open this and uh, it should open this one so this is what this is the tool which you have to use for exporting the data to your local let me reset everything so it is asking what is the source information what is the target information so later on we'll see some advanced details provided so right now what you want to do is we need to export all this data uh, to our local let's see how many datas are available over here So if I run this, it says there are about 1,576 uh, files or contents or rows available here. So we want to export this one. There is no direct options available to export these contents from your Azure portal. Not sure why they have not done that, why they have not provided those options here. So we'll have to use their migration tool. So the first thing you need to select is Azure Cosmos DB. They're asking for two details, connection string and collections. So for connection string, you'll have to click on this keys. If you go to your Cosmos DB resource, uh, you will see an option called keys under the Cosmos DB, which you have created. And uh, you have to copy this. We cannot copy directly like this. If you copy this, I don't know, there's a little bug over here. It just copies the star, whatever is given here. So I'll have to first click on this I and then click on this copy. And it should you know, come up something like this. Now you can go back here and paste this. Now after pasting it, after pasting the um, connection string if you click on verify it will throw an error like documents database name should be provided as part of the connection string so how to solve this solving this is uh, solving this is uh, easy you have to go to data explorer and you should copy the database name what is there here copy this so copy this 
and go back here we have to give database is equal to database is equal to demo db the database name you have, you have to provide on the right hand side click on verify now so when you when you click on verify you should get a successful message something like this connected to azure cosmos db account successfully click on ok then you'll have to provide the collections which you want to export so i have created a container called demo container copy this and i'm sorry let's go back to that tool paste this here I'll keep everything else has is click on next now they are asking for what should be the target information if you want you can directly export uh, to a different db from here itself but we want to export it to a local file a json file click on json file and select local file here uh, just give the name has something whatever you wish i'll give it as exported db and it's a json extension click on save click on prettify json so that it's clean click on next if you want you can add error log file uh, i'll not add all those things click on next it will give you a summary of all the information and click on import so as you click on import it should start fetching all the information and exporting it so it says transferred 1576 files uh, to that json file which we created now let's go back to downloads and see this if it has come up or not so if you see exported db all uh, files have come click on shift and press this arrow you'll see everything you know coming up here so that's how you export it now what we'll do is let's try to import this data i have um, already downloaded the volcano data if you see here there's a volcano data available here i need to import this one so for that let me first clear this delete this container uh, they're asking to provide the container name So demo container is the container name. Click on OK. Should de delete all those 1500 uh, contents, whatever is available in that container. So it's deleted. There is no data over here. So let's create that same container again. So that we can you know import the data because we'll have to provide this container name uh, in the migration tool as well give whatever partition key you have in this particular uh, container i have id as a common field partition key so just keep click on ok should create the container now so the container is created so there is no items available it should be zero so there is no item available now let's go back to our migration tool click on new import click on yes to reset everything now what you want to do is migrate from your json file click on add files click on volcano data or if you want the exported uh, file itself then you can cl click on that um, exported data let me delete this so exported data i have selected the file has which has to be imported to the cosmos db so this you may be doing in a different subscription here i'm just showing it in the same subscription azure subscription so you can do it in a different subscription and follow this method click on next here again we'll have to provide the connection string go to keys click on this i copy this and paste it here 
I'll provide the database name as well. It's called demo DB. Click on verify. So it's verified successfully. Provide the container name. Provide the partition key as well. Now let's click on next. If you want, you can select a error log file to log all the errors. You can create one and you know uh, provide the path over here. I'll not do that. Click on next. You see all the summary. Click on import. It should start importing all the contents from your local to Cosmos DB. So you see all the numbers coming up here. So importing is a little slow, but exporting is uh, you know very quick. So there are about thousand five hundred data. So I'll also provide the link uh, to this um, what do you call this this particular tool over here uh, in the description. You can uh, you know directly click on that link and you can come to this link and download it. So let's quickly see if the data has been imported or not. Let's go to Data Explorer. Click on Demo DB. Click on this. Click on Demo Container. And click on Items. Should see everything you know, showing up here. If you want to see the count, you can do that as well. and click on execute query so there are about 1576 uh, rows that has been imported here so yeah that's about it i don't want to you know stretch this video a lot i'll put this link uh, in the comment and as well as description you can choose whichever you like and click on that and come to this particular link and download this file and you can directly open the migration tool and follow what I provided in this video. Hope this was useful guys. If it was useful, please do the like button, subscribe, comment. So if you like the video, YouTube will uh, know that you are liking the video. It is of some use. So please do the like button. And if there is any details required or any info required, please provide it in the comment section. And do subscribe guys. Share with your friends. So I will come up with some interesting videos again. Hope you will keep supporting. Thank you so much guys. See you. Bye.